The man them and the woman them in a jam down. A chappy line too hard. Uncle Sam saying wow, 100 of them. 100 of them is about to fly out. Ladies and gentlemen. Them gonna fly out right now. And a good fly out them all getting out. Because and the likes of boy. is a trip them are take to Uncle Sam country. And them are go shop and enjoy themselves. They are strapped in bungles. High and bungle. They are being escorted. 100 of them. Nearly 100 alleged scammer for extradition to the United States. Identified. Boom, bad star. Look how Jamaica warm and nice. And them have to fly out in a cold and out of blood clit. I tell you, cold are going to bite them in a them blood clit and now because America freeze. See? All because of the money. The red yai. Red yai, man. They're too red yai and jealous and covetous, you know. Everything they see people have, they want it. Everybody want rich. Everybody want this fast money. Hey, I tell you, I don't want my money for fast. You know. I want my money for coming slowly but surely. You know. My money must come in slowly but surely. It don't have to be fast. Because the fast money I get these people in serious problem. Ladies and gentlemen, the best advice I can go now. Yeah, what I say to you, man? Everybody sit down and watch a video you now. Old people sit down on the rocking chair. Young people turn up on the foot and watch the video. Members say the subscribe button must get touch up. Members the like button must get touch up. No argument no supposed to be like that. All right. Up and running, man. Watch a video you right now. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Bag of things, they have to make a statement If I no bag of things, TV, it no make sense A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time Bag of things, they have to make a statement If I no bag of things, TV, it no make sense A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time Bag of things, TV, media Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam sent for 100 scammers in Jamaica 100 of them have got booked the plane right now because of the fast money. Everybody want money if you run fast to them, like you see in Bolt. Everybody want to use in Bolt money, you know. Boy, may I tell you, man, may I tell you, boy, them want the money if you run fast, like you see in Bolt or Asafa Powell. What may I tell them still, you know? They might chop the line in Jamaica too hard, and it is very evident. Because right you now, it's a global warning to the scammer them. Uncle Sam is coming for you. Minister of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang, says nearly 100 persons have been identified by the authorities for extradition to the United States and lottery scamming charges. God Almighty, the whole of them identified you now. And about to book the plane. Them not have to buy no ticket, you know. Uncle Sam pay a free flight, a free flight. Yes, man. Chong made the disclosure on Thursday while speaking at Global Services Association of Jamaica President's Breakfast Forum in St. James. At this a most like a chopper then come from, you know. Yeah, man. Since 2016, some 29 Jamaicans have been extradited to the United States for lottery scamming. Noting that lottery scamming has many implications for Jamaica's economy, Chang stated that the government is pooling its resources to fight against this criminal activity. It's a dangerous activity, you know. Dangerous organized crime that is causing the violence and the crime in Jamaica right now. Most of the killing owners say everything Connected to scamming, you know, lot of scamming, you know. And the Jamaicans don't want to stop it. They don't want to stop it. They might chop a line too hard, they might go along too bad. Why, I don't know. If you talk too hard, somebody jump down your throat and say, bugger things made that TV, move your blood clit and leave you them. Leave you them, you're too bad, man, and sit in your fight on you them. My advice to you them, you right know. When you can't go chop down some tree and burn school skill, when you don't have to chop a line. 
chop down some bush and plant pumpkin, yam and banana and that shit. Chop down a tree when you don't chop a line. Chop a grass. Chop a bush out on a garden. Plant up some food. Go up on a farming land and chop it down. Plant all sorts of food because the market is there. Don't chop a line. You know hear what I say? You know don't have to chop a line. See? Too much land there, Jamaica, for you to chop down bush and plant food. Now, continuing. Mr. Chang said that Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, Communication Forensic and Cybercrime Division, CFCD, and the major organized crime and anti corruption agency, MOCA, MOCA, along with other government agencies, have joined forces to penalize these perpetrators. The man, they might come down harder now. May I tell you now, whole the organization that come together, along with Uncle Sam, and may I tell you, so they might creep them up from left to right. Jesus and peace. When the people, they might go here, and a man alone night, you know, all women in the bang around to you, know, man. Everybody here is too red. All the people that here is so red. Everybody want money. Yo, when the easy on the I'm going show you something, man. I'm going tell you something. Money is important, you know. But here and now, you can't too red here, you know. You have to chill, you know, and know how to make money, you know. You have to ease yourself, you know. This red here business, I got to get them in a serious trouble. It's already start up. See? Because Uncle Sam and the Jamaican police them are come down upon them wicked boy, your oh boy. Me say when the man ain't done with them, man, I tell some man, me not have a problem with it. You know. I want them to creep up everybody. One new law in place now where the JCF said they might go after their mother, you know. Mother, sister, brother, grand pupa. Mumma even mumma blood clitter get creep up. Me not have no problem with the law. They will creep up everybody and put them up on the plane like sardine and get them out of Jamaica. Because I know for sure I'm not miss them. I don't know if I don't miss them. Please give me a comment down there and tell me if I don't miss them. I don't miss them. I don't miss them. I know that for sure. Then can pack up everybody. Pack them up like some old blood clit market bus and ship them out of Jamaica. We not going to miss them. All right. Continuing. The government of Jamaica has no problem cooperating and working to mitigate and hopefully remove this particular scourge of criminal activities from our system because they are danger and a risk to society. Government now no problem pack up Uncle Sam plane. If Uncle Sam can send two planes a day, the government of Jamaica will pack up that blood theater and ship them out. See? Me, what me tell you, no? People are said no, while lottery scamming has been attributed to an increase in gang violence and homicide across the island, Chung said that the criminal activity has additional damaging effect on the economy's development, arguing that major corporations may shy away from conducting business on the island. That has caused problems for a long time. Big organization has said no, sir. I don't care my business go Jamaica with these criminals shooting at each other indiscriminately not have no respect for life killing people, maiming people see? a lot of the big organization them say no man I hold back until this scamming thing cut down you know, cut out you know, done you know, for good I hold back right now I mean, me tell you, it's crippling the economy them have to stop it anybody supports scamming you don't have no love and respect for Jamaica Seeing you're worse than scamming them if you support scamming. Seeing it's a big problem. It's a cancer. What you are going to know? Second incident. 28 rounds of ammunition seized in Portmore. Man charged. Police lock up a man for 28 rounds. Seeing no argument in that. A Portmore St. Catherine man was arrested and charged on Thursday after allegedly being held with 28 rounds of ammunition along Brayton Parkway. 28-year-old Romaine McDonald of Portmore Park has been charged with unauthorized possession of ammunition and dealing in prohibited weapon. Jaja, very good police officers. Love that work there. 
The police report that about 10 15 pm, cops were on patrol in the area when McDonald was seen acting in a manner which arose the officer's suspicion. He was accosted and searched. According to the police, 28 5.56 cartridges were found in his bag. Jaja boy. He is scheduled to appear before the St. Catherine Parish Court on March 8th. You see? Guns, rounds, scamming. Those are the cancers in Jamaica. We have to cut out the cancer. You know? No chemotherapy for the cancers in Jamaica. The cancer is scammers. See? Gun shipping from the United States to Jamaica. Gang activities, gang rivalry, and killing and shooting. Those are the cancers where I mash up Jamaica. We now nah put no band-aid on it. We now nah get no chemotherapy. We are cut it off completely and dismember it from the country of Jamaica. So I feel proud when we see 28 rounds pick up off our streets right now. 100 dirty scammers about to board the plane and fly out. I hope they don't come back. Stay over Uncle Sam. We don't want to know back in Jamaica. You see me, I say? All right, I bag of things with the TV, man. Make sure to say like button, touch up, notification bell, subscribe button. Every single button must get touch up, you know. No argument, none of that. Big respect to everybody. Bag See of you things media up, TV, up, man. Up, up, Thank up, you up. for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal. Out. Out.